Welcome gamers to my free to play video of Forge Fantasy and in today's video I'm going over what I think about the chest and special gem offers. Full disclaimer, results of chest opening rewards vary. Before I get into all the different chests, let me cover my thoughts on the special offers. Now of course, this is a free to play so I'm only covering the gem currency exchange special offers. First, the Gauntlet Bundle. It features the three star hero Snaps, the crew Ranger, and a few uncommon gear. As he demonstrates his skills in the background, if you ask me, in my opinion, it is not worthy spending 500 of my hard earned gems on a three star hero that I can form in the early game without spending any gems just to be rewarded with a few uncommon gear and some hero SP. Next, the PvP bundle, featuring the 3 star hero, Sand Ruby. As she demonstrates herself in the background, spending 500 gems for some uncommon gear and XP is still not working in my opinion. But well, let's take a look or a closer look at the hero, Sand Ruby herself. Her first skill, Snapshot, takes a risky shot at the target enemy dealing 2530 damage with a 50% chance to miss and deal no damage. That's a 500 gem risk that I'm taking to land that shot. Moving on, Distraction Tactic, throws an enemy off then takes a cheap shot dealing 485 damage and stunning the target enemy for 6 seconds. Already stunned targets take an additional 935 damage. That stun time is crazy, being a full 6 seconds and also having a damage booster to already stun targets. Alright, now, Empty Tank. The last shot fired per reload does an additional 389 attack damage and has a 50% crit hit chance. Now, that may be pretty useful late game, but there are better damage dealers for the late game, so this skill is pretty meant to me. And last, pick it apart. Gain 21 critical bonus. Um, pretty much the same as my last statement. Now, is she worth 500 gems? I doubt it. She is also formable in the mid game, early to mid game. Getting into the chest, I have five available right now. But let's get into the silver chest first. Rewards are common to epic, being color coded purple for epic, blue for rare, green for uncommon, and I believe gray for common as I just got the most common drop item right there. The silver chest is nice if you ask me, as long as you're not spending your, your gold on it. Having a chance to get free epic gear, even though I didn't get any right there, it's pretty nice. And you have a chance at some hero fragments for free. All right, moving on to the gold chest. The gold chest, you can open 400 gems or you can wait the appropriate time and get it for free. The gold chest is similar to the silver chest as far as rewards go, however, you can get more pieces of the gear in or hero fragments. And if I scroll down, you will see that you also have a small chance to get some 5 star hero fragments. I only open these two for free when it's available. I'm going to bypass the hero chest for right now, jumping into the weeper chest. You are guaranteed 60 weeper fragments, which is all you need to unlock her with a chance to acquire up to 300 fragments. For is weeper worth it? Let's find Your out. Might is nothing. Let's take a look at her skills. Hydra is a single target attack that increases in damage over time while also doing minor damage to Weaver and leaves her vulnerable in the open, as you can see. Downpour is another single target damage skill, but the nice thing about it is it incredible 10 second silence and the effect rate of 70% of chances of silencing the target is high. Next up. Tears of Recovery is pretty much a sack in life as she fully self heals herself up from 25% of health once per battle. 
Lastly, last cleanse. When she is hit by a critical attack, she removes all debuffs from herself and recovers a nice amount of HP when the debuffs or negative effects are removed. So, is Weeper worth it? Is she worth 500 gems? Let me know what you think in the comment section below, but my answer, she is debatable. More of a PvP hero, in my opinion, which is not my focus in the early games, and she could be useful late game when the enemy starts to crit and debuff more. So early midish game, not worth my 500 gems. Alright, jumping into the tide break chest. It's a tier up chest, meaning each tier you buy gives you more or better rewards. Is tide break worth it to me? It depends entirely on the RNG factor in this game. You have a chance for a small amount of gems to grab a 5 star tide breaker early game. More than worth it. If you don't know who tide breaker is, take the time to find out. And now, the hero chest. The best chest, in my opinion, that you should save and spend your gems on. Each opening is guaranteed a hero or fragments of the hero you already have. And if you save up to open 5, you are guaranteed at minimum a 3 star hero. It took me 2.5 to 3 days just to save up 1400 gems as a free to play player. So it doesn't take that long to grind the gems needed. So. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Note to self guys, you have to be at least VIP level 1 to open 5 at a time. As I just had an epic fail right there. Because I did not know that that was a thing until now. So that's the options not available. Let's do it the free to play way. not a bad drop I'm actually okay with this drop guys if you have not seen my video going into details about Venom check it out let's get to the next chest let's get to work okay I don't know much about partisan but I do believe that he has more potential than my current front line. Right. Ah, no spoilers, guys. This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> what you look at that? Who needs 500 for Sam Ruby? We can get him for three. video talking about him so because he is great to have as a damage dealer and a healer all right gamers that's all for today's video let me hear what you think about the different chess and offers in the comments below and as my mentor tells me be the best and fuck the rest gtg game